Alright guys, today we got some... I don't even know how to describe this deck besides awesome. So, the last video we did Zubera Storm, and for those who didn't see that, probably go watch it, but basically what it is is when a Zubera dies, um, you do an effect for every Zubera that died. So if you can keep recurring them over and over, you can keep accruing this like storm type effect. So Floating Dreams Zubera is the most common, because um, you draw a card, which is pretty good. Um, but we had problems with colored mana in that deck, and I had previously ran Prismite as a way to like filter colorless to colored mana. And I was looking for other ways to do that, and we stumbled across this beauty, Petalmean Baku, which basically says whenever you cast a spirit or arcane spell, you may put a key counter on it. And then you can basically filter mana into colored mana by removing key counters. And this actually generates mana too, so it's kind of awesome. And so... If you didn't know, Zuberas are spirits, so they trigger Petalmain Baku, um, and then we can also play this kind of along like a spirits and arcane type theme. Um, so instead of doing like all the undying evil and stuff, uh, spirits have this like pretty awesome ability called Soul Shift, um, which when some of the spirits die, you can return other spirit cards from your graveyard to your hand. So Thief of Hope is already good on its own. Whenever you cast a spirit or arcane spell, which is almost all of the deck, um, you drain them for one, and then if this dies, you can get back a two-drop, which are either the combo pieces or Floating Dream Zubera or Ember Fist Zubera, which is here as a combo kill, but also you can recur this so many times, you can just like completely destroy your opponent's board, which is kind of awesome. Um, so these all have Soul Shift 2. Elder Pine of Jukai, probably a card you've never seen before. Um, whenever you cast a Spirit Arcane spell, reveal the top three cards of your library, and you put all lands into your hand. So... It just gets you a bunch of advantage when all the cards in your deck are spirits or arcane. And it also has soul shift too, so like you can get back Zuberas and stuff. Or, it's two or less, so the most important card in the whole deck, Kami of False Hope, lets you sacrifice it to prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. So, the problem that the other Zuberas deck had is like, it had no resiliency. Basically, you just died if your opponent killed you faster. This deck is playing uh, 11 Fog, so we have four Kami of False Hope, it's basically the spirit version of a Spore Frog. We have four Ethereal Haze, which is an arcane, prevents all combat damage, or all damage. Oh, I didn't even know that. Okay, that's even sweeter. And then three Spore Frogs just to round it out, make sure we have a lot of fog. So basically our opponent's not going to be doing any damage. And these Soul Shift guys can get back combo pieces or fogs as needed. We have four Solar Survivals, which lets us get back creatures from graveyard to hand, and we can splice arcane. So... If you have two of these, for four mana, you can get back two creatures um, and keep going. And that's a combo with Hanakami, which is a spirit that gets back arcane cards. Um, so these are arcane. So, like, if you play Solus Revival, splice another Solus Revival on, target Hanakami plus any of your fog creatures, um, you get back both of these, and then you can keep doing that loop so you can just fog every turn. So we have a lot of different infinite fog loops. You can also, like play Ethereal Haze, splice a Soulless Revival onto it, and get back Hanakami, and then get back the Ethereal Haze, and that's an infinite fog loop. So basically this deck should not die to combat damage, um, which is kind of awesome, because then you just get infinite time to like build up and then go off with the combo. We have two Death Denied to kind of rebuy everything, also a combo with Hanakami because it is an arcane spell, so you can just get back all your fogs, all your Zubairs and stuff like that. Uh, two Rend Flesh, you just need a couple more arcane spells to make Hanakami good. And most creatures are not spirits, so this kills a lot of important stuff, like Atog, um, kills artifacts, so really good card. And then Ashnod's Altar kind of gives us the same engine as before, um, because in order to get the Soul Shift triggered, you have to have the creature die. So this lets us go off with Floating Dream Zubera. It lets us get Soul Shift triggers. It protects our creatures from exile. And it's just really good. Let's just go off with Zuberas. So I think this engine is pretty good. The only thing I'm worried about right now is the mana. I don't think the mana is optimal. Um, I'm not the best at building mana bases, so this will probably have to change over time. But right now we're just running four Evolving Wilds. Just a single blue, because Petalmain Baku really can generate a lot of mana as we need. We're not running any red, because we just have the one red card. And we could just get red off these guys. Um, and then some land. So this needs work, but hopefully we, we will revisit this deck soon and get there. On to the sideboard. So um, Fog is good against all comp creature decks, except for Mono Red. Uh, Mono Red doesn't really attack too much, so we're running four Silent Chant Zubera. 
And this card, alongside Thief of Hope, should hopefully just let us gain a ton of life and put the opponent, you know, beyond the reach of killing us. Ribbons of the Rikai is one of my favorite cards, and it maybe should be in the main deck. There's a lot of work that needs to be done here. Um, this is the first iteration of the deck. We'll keep coming back, but this card's amazing. It's five mana draw card for each spirit, and it's an arcane, so you can get it back off Hanakami, and it triggers all your things, so really sweet card. Guardian of the Guild Pack, protection from monocolored. Um, this card beats mono green stompy, like, kind of on its own. It just blocks everything. Um, it's good against, like, mono black pestilence and stuff like that, too. Um, another Elder Pine of Jukai against, like, some mono black decks. We got Wear Away, which is an arcane, and you can splice onto arcane. So, like, if you, like, cast Ethereal Haze, splice onto Wear Away, kill their artifacts, seems pretty good. And then three Rending Vines. This is mostly in for decks that are playing artifact lands or, um, the, like, Astrolabe and stuff like that. But basically, you just kill a thing, draw a card. It's pretty awesome, and it's an arcane. And then, uh... Pregrasalka maybe should be in the main. We might need more, but this is another sacrifice outlet that lets you just kind of ping down creatures. Um, one version of this deck that could also be pretty sweet is like Pregrasalka with more Emberfist Zuberas and just kill all their creatures. So there's a lot of different builds, and we're going to be exploring all of the Kamigawa plane today. But that's basically the deck, and uh, let's see how it does. All right, we are going first against Blue Wizard Needs Something Something. Sweet. Yeah, this hand looks good. It's got Petalmane Baku and Hanakami plus Soulless Revival, so we're kind of one arcane spell away from at least having infinite arcane triggers. Uh-oh. Self-mill. Werebear? Whoa, what's going on here? <laughs> I respect it. Ethereal Haze. Well, we have infinite fogs now, so that's pretty nice. I don't know how well infinite fogs does against Stream of Thought, but it's pretty good against Werebear. Ooh, another Baku? I like that. So... An important thing with Bakus is you want to stack the triggers properly, so always yes, always yield. That way you just don't have to mess with it. So we got two. Play the sands and attack. Yeah, so basically now every two mana spell is free, kind of. Uh, no, because it only generates... Yeah, it's these cards are weird because the first key counter doesn't generate mana, but every key counter after that does. Nimble Mongoose. Okay, so they're playing like self-mill threshold. Kind of sweet. This feels like opponent's holding up a counter spell, so we're going to lead on a Hanakami. And this is always yes. A jungle Hollow. I might as well play the blue Zubera. The blue Bera, as it were. And no attacks. So we can chump block with the Floating Dream Zubera, and then we go Ethereal Haze plus Soul Survival. I don't know. There's a couple things we can do. Let's go. Hooting Mandrels, Rune Snag. Okay. Fair enough. Take three. Not too big of a deal. Ooh, Kami's good too. Okay, so feels like opponent has a counter spell. I kind of want to attack, so let's do that. And then we're gonna play the Zubera. Bring one counter. But I guess I want the black mana. Play you. Plot scour themselves. The deck's weird, man, but I like it. Okay, so let's play Kami. Look at all that mana as we got. Ah, uh, okay. Grapple of the Past makes kind of everything make sense. They probably get back Hooting Mandrels. That looks like what they got. Okay. Well, Fog's pretty good against that. That's for sure. We block with the Zubera. Ooh, Thief of Hope is real good here. We can start draining their life. <laughs> This lock is awesome. Okay, that's that's a hard lock as long as we don't get our Solus Revival countered. So we're going to play Thief of Hope first. That just resolved. All right, well, opponent, you're going to have a hard time now. Because <laughs> we can uh, Solus Revival, splice Solus Revival, getting back Hanakami and the Zubera. All right, we're just going to fog. Dream of Thought milling themselves. If only they could shuffle four of my cards, that would actually be pretty helpful for them. But I think end of turn we're going to remove four black counters to go Solus Revival splice on Solus Revival. Yeah, might as well. Add black. Get back the Zubera. Splice Kami, getting back that. Get all these triggers. <laughs> 
And uh, we can kind of just slurp our opponent to death, too, off this big boy. Can you imagine getting slurped to death with this guy? That would be horrible. So we get rune snag. That's fine. There you go. <laughs> um, attack with everything. And I feel like I just ethereal haze. No real reason to do anything else. I mean, they can hit me for seven, but... Yeah, so we're going to go Ethereal Haze. I need to add some black. So this is going to add uh, let's see, one, one, two, three, four. I think I'm just going to add two black. Ethereal Haze, cast and splice. Splice you, getting back Zubera. Splice you, getting back you. So if they have counter spells, like, sure. Yep. So that might be all of the rune snags, right? One, two... Three. No, there's one more. Okay. Either way, we take four. It's not the end of the world. Ooh. Kind of like that. Um, I think I'm going to go for a main phase Solar Survival. This is going to add a bunch of black. Oh, man, I messed up. I meant to add. <laughs> Whoops. Well, we can... Uh... It's fine. We can still do this. Add some blue now with this mana. So now we go Solar Survival for this, Splice this for that. And we pay for it with black. One, two. Sweet. So now we can go Kami of False Hope first. So we could actually try and go off right now. We could play Ashnod's Altar. Let's try and go off. We're going to add a bunch of black. No! <laughs> Alright, we'll move to sideboarding. So the opponent was self-mill. I don't have any graveyard hate. Uh, Guardian of the Guild Pack just blocks all their big dudes. So maybe I run that instead of Elder Pine. And it doesn't seem like they're going to be killing many creatures, so I don't think I need two Death Denied. But the rest seems okay. Maybe I don't need this Ember Fist Zubera. And I can run this instead. That seems okay to me. It makes our mana a lot better, so we're going to run it like that. This hand is suspect, but I think I'm going to keep. Um, we're one pedal main Baku away from having all of our mana, and Spore Frog should keep us alive. Any land, and we can rend flesh one of their creatures, and their deck didn't look that fast. There's the planes. Also, Ashnod's Altar plus Floating Dream Zumbera is almost a snap keep. How'd they ponder? They did not shuffle. Okay. It felt like they are looking for lands, but I could be completely wrong. So this revival, well, that's pretty good with Spore Frog. So we actually can go infinite. We can rend flash Solus revival Hanakami. So that's something to look out for. We're just gonna get down to Spore Frog right now. I kind of want to save Hanakami in hand for if we draw like a Petal Main, whatever that guy is, the guy that adds mana for whenever you cast a Spirit. Sure. I don't think you really want to be vapor snagging Spore Frogs over here. Oh, are they gonna try and counter it? That's not going to work, dude. We just got this. Ooh, that will work. Well, that's pretty sweet. Um, okay. I guess now I get down Hanakami. And Spellstutter Spray. So we played uh, a land to play around Rune Snag, but did not see these guys come out. Looks like they sideboarded into Blue Delver. But they're not doing too much, so that's good. We just need to, like, get a bunch of lands in play. Um, play another Hanakami. If this gets countered, not the end of the world. A lot of spell stutters, though. Play Evolving Wild so we can get blue. And the main goal here is to rend flesh with Solus Revival spliced on to kill a spell stutter sprite, get back Hanakami. But if that doesn't work, we can just play like Floating Dream Zubera, start Ashnod's altering them. Take two. Alright, deck, if we can hit a land. And then we can uh, rend flesh with Soul Survival. That seems pretty tough to beat. Let's get Island. I guess we need exactly a Swamp to do that, so it's unlikely. Yeah, Forest is good, but not the best. Well, we can uh, resolve Ashnod's Altar and Azubera. And that does a lot of work. I don't want to sacrifice this just yet. I would love to resolve this and then sacrifice both. Because we're only taking two damage. Another forest. Okay, let's attack with the Zubera. 
So unless they have a third spell stutter sprite, we should be able to play around a rune snag. And I don't want to play the land yet because I can draw another swamp and then do this. So we're just going to play this and sack them both. Draw four. Okay, I think this seems like we're going to play Elder Pine. This card's so good. Then we play Thief of Hope. And this can hopefully hit us some lands. A Vapor Snag, that guy. I think I just sacrificed this to get back another Floating Dream Zubera. I don't see why not. It's what we call the hard lock. <laughs> as long as we can get a uh, blue or black source off the top. We win! Awesome! See you guys next round. Alright, we we're playing against Tilt a Whirl, and we're gonna go first. Uh, this hand is pretty close to good. It has Petal Main Baku, Ethereal Haze, Death Denied. I think I do keep. Um, this deck is pretty mana hungry. And let's see, what are we evolving wilds for? Right now I'm thinking white. Opponent Mulligan. I'm going to wait on the evolving wilds because the tempo we gain by fetching right away, um, like what I'm saying is basically, yeah, if we, we could have fetched for a plane there and then we kind of be stuck having two planes. So it's better to wait until you know what colors you have. Um, so now we know we can basically just evolving wilds for a blue source. So we can cast our Zuberas. Ethereal Haze against Tron is not the best, but we can bring in all of our artifact destruction. Hey, they sent me a message. Opponent's a fan of the deck. <laughs> Alright, Pet Prophetic Prism. Yep, you got it. Hopefully we get to give them a good showing, because they have two of the three Urza's Tron pieces. Spore Frog. Okay, let's play Falling Wilds. Play a Spore Frog. Not that good against Tron, but not the worst. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they hate fogs? Well, then they're going to be conflicted with this deck. Yeah, so we're going to fetch blue, because Death Denied is more of a late game card. Yeah, opponent has natural Tron, obviously. So this is going to be challenging. It's really hard to beat turn 3 Tron, but Mold Drifter is like not that busted. I'm going to get a blue. And let's just draw a good spirit. Yeah. Tron is kind of the best deck in Pauper. Ooh, Ember Fist Zubera. Okay, so I think we're going to wait on that. Because we need Ashnod's Altar for this to really go off. And as long as they don't start, like, uh, Dinrova horroring us, we should be okay. If they start bouncing and killing our lands, though, that's going to get challenging. We'll take two. No real reason to sacrifice Spore Frog. Don't mind that. Let's go Forest and Attack. I feel like they're going to Ghostly Flicker. Okay, we play Kami. Always yes, always yield. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if I can beat the <laughs> the whole Tron thing. We'll try. We're going to bring in all of our artifact hate that draws cards. Just getting rid of these means their like ability to cast colored spells is much more limited. And Tron is not a fast deck, so hopefully we can just go for the hard lock without them really seeing what our deck does. And take two. No real reason to burn the fogs yet. Another Petal Main Baku. Yeah, this is kind of an anemic start, but that's okay. <laughs> Go. So Ashnod's Altar off the top, we can kind of do some stuff. We can like Ember Fist Zubera down the whole board. Yeah. They have the full seven cards in hand. Um, Still going to take it. Rolling Templar kind of kills us soon, but that card's good against us kind of at any point of the game. Yeah, this is a lot of lands. Um, so I think we're going to fog this turn. And we're just going to pass. Deck doesn't do anything right now. Yeah. So I think I do fog. I'm going to keep Ethereal Haze in hand. And we're going to sacrifice the Kami. I just don't want to go down low enough where they can just Rolling Templar kill us. Yep, that's a lot of drifting. But they're still discarding. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is so many lands. Uh, go. Remote Isle, okay. I feel like they're just holding up Condescend. This looks like Denova. Ulamog's Crusher. Okay, that's gonna be somewhat of an issue. Um, do I Spore Frog now? Prevent six, sure. We kind of have to go off like this turn, which seems hard. 
Come on, deck. Give me good. Give me the goods. Thief of Hope. It's a good start. Let's play Thief. This is always yes and yes. Uh, remove a counter to add red. And play Emberfist Zubera. And pass turn. We can, uh, Hanakami lets us go infinite off death denied. The blue Zubera lets us at least start drawing some cards. Okay, so let's start with Ethereal Haze. Uh, no. I want to, what am I going to sacrifice? Emberfist Zubera and a forest maybe? Because Ethereal, em Ethereal Haze actually stops the Zubera trigger. So we're going to do that and this. We'll just go face, because that's only one damage. So that damage happens. Now we fog. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Jeez. <laughs> um, I could death denied right now and get back these three. But I think I kind of just want to wait. I don't think I'm winning the late game if I just fog again next turn. I think basically I need to draw like a blue Zubera or something. I don't know if there's many draws in the deck that can actually get us there. That's what I'm saying. Uh, this looks like they're tutoring for a counter spell. I think I just go for this now at X black. Death Denied getting back these three. Okay, so I don't think they have a counter spell, which is good, at least yet. Weather the storm. It's a lot of life. <laughs> but we're just going to let that, all those triggers happen. <laughs> it's so much life. All right, what do we need? Blue Zubera. Elder Pine is actually a pretty good start. Um, let's go Elder Pine. Don't really need much more green. But this gives us an endless supply of lands. And these only tap for two. Play Kami. This is working. Get some lands. Um, let's go ahead and add some red. Keep messing up because I need more mana. Yeah, let's add more. Yeah, that was a mistake because we, we need some uh, more red. Add two. Yeah, whoops. So yeah, we can do that. Play the Ember Fist. Trigger all of this. Get more lands or no lands. Play Spore Frog. That is not a Spirit or Arcane. And I'm actually going to play Evolving Wilds just to thin the deck a bit. No good attacks past turn. But now we have a lot of Fogs. They get Teachings for... Tembler? Prohibit. Okay. Yeah, that's a problem. Prohibit counters basically everything in our deck. Okay, so let's fetch Evolving Wilds. Grabbing a Swamp. This is Annihilator 2. So I think I can just sacrifice some lands, because we're going to get a ton of them. Uh, we'll also sacrifice the Zubera. I don't really care about this. Go face, sacrifice Kami. Come on, deck, give us some good draws. Oh, this looks like I'm just dead. Blink Thunder for 20. No way to gain life. Man, all right. <laughs> Exaxes. Okay, so sideboarding, I mean, hopefully they don't have turn 3 Tron. That's one. I think Ribbons is actually a good card in this matchup. So, number one, I like bringing that in. Uh, Rend Flush seems good. The Subaru is not great, but it's kind of necessary. Probably we can cut down some of the Fogs. So we can get rid of probably all three Spore Frogs. They're just not necessary. And then we can bring in two... Or no, we want um, Rending Vines. And run it like that. Actually, I'm going to bring in another Elder Pine of Juku. That card's pretty nice. We're going to cut one... Okay, never mind. Going first. Opponent send me a message, what'd they say? Any card advantage on the green spirit? You'll see. You'll see. Uh, this is a mulligan. Can't really keep that. This hand's good. It's very close to do everything, doing everything we want. Uh, what do we put back, though? So we keep... I guess we just put back a Blossoming Sands? Sure. Because we're likely to hit lands. And we play this. Because, again, we don't know what we're fetching with Evolving Wilds. Probably a blue source. And hope they don't have turn 3 Tron again. Yeah, that should have been something else. Fog is just like not great in this matchup. Island, go. Yep. 
This looks very similar. If we had hit a green source there, we could kill the prophetic prism. Oh, they don't have it. Nice. All right, deck, green source. Oh, we're so close. Next turn, we can do it. Baku. Always yes, always yield. Hit for one. So next turn, any land lets us cast this. And then if we cast one, we should be able to just go off. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, <laughs> this does help with our mana in the future. This is going to get prohibited probably, but it does put a counter on this. We're going to get crop rotation, impulse. God, if we just hit any land. Hit for two. Opponent impulses. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. And they have Tron. Brutal. Okay, so we can use this to add a bunch of green. Add two green. Play this. Rending Vines. And we cannot splice anything, unfortunately. Yeah, kill the untapped prism. If we hit a land, I don't think we can play another Rending Vines. This looks like Prohibit, but they can't Prohibit. Condescend would do it. Moment's Peace. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I'm not, not that worried about that one. This is always yes. Land. No! Come on! <laughs> right, no point attacking. We're just stuck on two lands here. Yep. I think if we had stopped that teachings for impulse, we should have been better. Also, if we drew a land at the top 13 cards of our deck. This is a Crusher. <sighs> All right. Rend Spirit, we can still get him with. Nope. <laughs> Oh, come on, deck. Um, okay, well, let's Rending Vines. We got to just draw Rend Spirit at this point. So let's add a bunch of green. Death denied. Still no land. That's kind of ridiculous. I think we're just dead. I mean, we'll, we'll play it out, but we're going to lose a Petalmain Baku and a land. But we can still draw Rend Spirit and kill them that way. So we'll keep playing. We lose this, this, we take 10. <laughs> There's our swamp. Um, we can play Hanakami. And this is kind of hard. I feel like I need to, I have nothing I can rending vines, but I can add a bunch of black and play Ashnod's altar. No, let's just add white and play Kami of False Hope. And take uh, like a million damage. I think going to one is correct. We go to one, sacrifice both of these, untap with lands and pedal main Baku. And if we draw rend flesh or whatever, we can go off. If we draw blue Zubera, we can almost certainly go off. Yeah, so we're gonna go to one life, sacking these two. Yep. All right, deck, give us the goods. If we can kill this, we can actually probably grind our way back. Uh, okay. Blue Zubera. That might be a good start. So, we're gonna want black. This turn's gonna be hard. So we're gonna go this, add a bunch of blue, play the Zubera, do this, add a bunch of black, play Ashnod's altar, uh, I guess I don't need double blue. Sacrifice the Zubera. Okay, we can Soulless Revival the Zubera. Play the Zubera. Sacrifice it. <laughs> double Evolving Wilds. Uh, let's add green here. Play Elder Pine. Then uh, sacrifice Elder Pine. Get back Zubera. Add some blue. We gotta go fast. This deck is really challenging. Sack the Zubera. Okay, there's another Zubera. Sack the Zubera. I think we're kind of doing it. Now we can play Thief of Hope. <laughs> What's opponent saying here? Yes. I think I do. Yes, probably. Um, we sacrifice. We'll see if they scoop. 
All right, I'm gonna keep going. Opponent's so nice. I'll show them my hand. So basically, yeah, I could kill. I could kill all their creatures at the very least. Good work, opponent. All right, we're on to round we're game three against this person. Uh, I feel like Rending Vines is actually just pretty solid. And we're going to cut another Ethereal Haze. Because, like, killing their artifact mana is bad in general, but if it puts you up a card, it's kind of nice. And I don't need, like, that much fog. Uh, what else can I bring in? I guess another Elder Pine instead of this Kami. And then... The life gain Zubera is not that great. So we're just going to do this, I think, and our deck's going to be a little bit more expensive, but that's okay. All right, so this hand has a lot of soulless revivals, <laughs> but that's about it. We have a bunch of mana. I think I am going to keep this. I mean, this loop is pretty powerful, and we just need like one Ashnod's Altar or something like that to kind of go off. It is not proactive, that is for sure, but... If your opponent's not playing a turn one Tron land, that's good for us. And that's a Petal Main Baku. So we're going to go Scoured Barons. Yep. I'm expecting like a turn four Tron. Play you. Thief of Hope is also very nice. Yeah, okay. So this is definitely a turn four Tron. Let's go Hanakami. Always yes, always yield. Evolving Wilds, hit. Pass turn. We're going to get a... I want to say a blue source, but a black source is also pretty important. But we already have one, so yeah, we're definitely going to fetch Island. Opponent has Tron, so they have uh, 8 mana. No land, no plays. I like that a lot. Get Island. Okay, let's attack. Probably Thief of Hope gets hit by Prohibit. But we can just get it back. And we're going to play... Evolving Wild, so we can hit a black source. Teachings. Yep. Ah. That's kind of brutal. They probably capsized the Petal Main Baku. Yep. Seems like a good play. play. Swamp. We're fighting the good fight right now. It's a blue Vera. Um, let's hit for three. Play the Baku. Hopefully they don't counter it, but even if they do, we have a bunch of Solus Revivals. Play blue Zubera. Always yes. Uh, trigger these. Always yes. Blossoming Sands, go ahead. This looks like Evoke Mold Drifter plus Ghostly Flicker, maybe. That does tap them out if they do that, though. We basically need a way for any of our creatures to die. So, Ashdod's Altar off the top would be kind of the dream. Altar. Thief of Hope's good, too. Let's attack. Play Thief. So opponent's very close to dead. Unfortunately, all of the spells in our hand are not Spirits or Arcane. <laughs> but if they do wipe the board, we can rebuild pretty quick. So they can flashback teachings to grab the life gain spell. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ooh, this is Rolling Templar. That's almost better. Yeah, so this looks like Rolling Templar for 5, 6, 7. Rolling Thunder. Killing all of those. Okay. We're going to get back the Baku and the Thief of Hope. And that might have actually just given us lethal. Play Solus Revival. Get back Thief. Okay, this spell seems alright. Another Baku. Kind of like that. So let's go Green Blue for Petal Main Baku. This is kind of hard actually. Well, let's attack for one. Opponent has Capsize in hand, we know about that. But I kind of want to give them other threats to deal with, so I'm just going to go Petal Main Baku into Hanakami. Uh, no. Yeah, I think I have to do that. No, we're going to go Petal Main Baku into, yeah, Hanakami, because then we can, uh, always yes. We can Solus Revival at the end of turn to get back Thief of Hopes. Yeah, these cards are really hard to deal with. This deck is so fun. <laughs> like, this deck might legitimately be good. We're going toe-to-toe -to -toe against Tron, and we haven't even drawn any of our combo pieces, like Ashna's Altar. Teachings with flashback, probably getting the life gain spell. Yeah, but they like have to cast it right now. 
How many spells were cast this turn? Oh, they have a mine that makes it scarier. They one, two. Okay. So we're going to play Solus Revival, getting back Thief of Hope. It's pretty good. Move to combat. Uh, actually, let's not move to combat. Let's go ahead and play Petal Main Baku. No, let's play Thief of Hope first. Thief of Hope here. Then let's remove a bunch of black. Yeah, add a bunch of black mana. I think I only need two, right? We're just going to play Thief of Hope. Because that's only going to go up to one counter. So, yeah, we'll just play Thief of Hope here. And they have to wipe the board again. And we get to attack. Go. <laughs> oh, man. The grind is real. Creature card at random. So they get back Moldrifter. Okay. Doesn't do much. They have three mana. Okay. I think if we get to resolve this pedal main Baku, we can loop Hanakamis and kill them. Ghostly Flicker. Oh, that's kind of good. So now they have five mana. I like this. So let's go Swamp, pedal main Baku. Starting off. Yes. Then we can uh, Soulless Revival another Thief of Hope. I mean, I guess at this point we can attack with double Thief of Hope. This is actually a very challenging turn. Um, right now I'm mostly playing around Condescend. So Soul Survival pings them for two. Get back Thief. Uh, always yes. Yes. Um, so now I can move to Combat. So if I swing out, opponent takes four damage and falls to two. And we could just kill them that way, okay. Okay, so we can add a bunch of green. We can add three green, sacrifice Hanakami. No, I think I have to add four. Four green, sacrifice Hanakami, get back Soulless Revival. So this is six damage if they have no interaction. And they counter spells doesn't, doesn't even do it. So they need to like play capsize on Thief of Hope. Yeah, okay. Get that back. So they're tapped out. So now I can just go Soulless Revival on Hanakami, just for more mana and damage. Or wait. I need this mana. Uh, this is brutal, but I think I have to add black. Soulless Revival. No, we're going to undo all of that. And just let this happen. We get back Hanakami. Six, five, four, three life. All right, we'll put him to three. And we are going to pass turn. Because they still have to deal with all of this. They're at four life. They've already used Weather the Storm. I think I'm tapped out, so we have six. Demonic Wall, Weather the Storm. Okay. They're going to Ghostly Flicker, Ghostly Flicker, Weather the Storm. Gain a bunch of life. And then hopefully we top deck Ashnod's Altar and can just go off. I think next turn, honestly, I'm just going to play two Thief of Hopes and pass. And attack, obviously. And then Urza's Tower. Oh, they're going to cast, uh, yeah, Weather the Storm. So they're going to gain 18 life back up to 22. Thanks for printing Weather the Storm, wizards. All right, deck, Ashnod's Altar, Jungle Hollow. That don't do it. Um, we can attack with Floating Dreams and Baron and see if they block. Take one, play Jungle Hollow, play Thief of Hope, play Thief of Hope. Go. F6 through the turn. They're still not out of this. Next turn we can go Hanakami, get back Solar Survival, cast Solar Survival, Splicing Arcane, and then play another Solar Survival. Ooh, that's even better. Let's go Elder Pine of Juku. This gives us some late game. Cast Hanakami. Ugh, Ashnod's Altar. Any order. Let's sacrifice Hanakami. Get back Revival. Let's add a bunch of black. And five. Cast and Splice. Bunch of triggers. 
mostly looking to hit lands. No! Oh. Add a bunch of black. Heap of hope. God. No! Oh. Your lands? Swamp it is! Play swamp. Um, filter to green. Play Hanakami. Auto stack triggers. God, I can't do that. No! We're gonna time out! Any order. Hanakami. So now we sacrifice Hanakami, get back Solus Revival, and pass turn. Oh, we can attack. No point in attacking. Go. We're down to one minute. Gosh, this is hard. I feel like I just F6. We win! We won the match! All right. Yes, we won the match! <laughs> Going toe-to-toe -to -toe against Tron. One minute on the clock. That is what I call a deck right there, guys. Ooh, I'm excited. All right, see you guys next round. All right, we're playing against Garen Spin. And this hand's pretty good, actually. We can Evolving Wilds for a green to play the Baku. And Ashdod's Altar means we can kind of go off. Kami can keep us alive. We're just... Uh, we need like one more land. That's kind of all we need. Planes. Okay, Slivers is a good test of is the fog loop viable? It should be. Let's get a forest. So we have to remember not to block with the Baku because flanking makes that not a thing. Okay, perfect. Now we just need a blue Barra. That's that's what I call them, the bluesy Barras. Yep, but as it currently stands, we have quite a few fog activations. And Slivers doesn't really have any reach, so we should be able to just, like, infinite fog there. So they attack, we take two poison, one poison, sure. So Poisonous is not like Infect. It, uh, they do damage and Infect, which is kind of sweet. Elder Point of Juku, that's pretty close to what we wanted. Let's go ahead and play Kami. Uh, always yes, always yield. Go ahead. So I'm not going to fog this turn. Pretty much no matter what, we can save that for next turn. Yeah. So we take six and three poison counters. <laughs> and we want to draw, what do we want to draw? Maybe like a Evolving Wilds. This deck is pretty quick though. Swamp, okay. Swamp, Elder Pine. Opponent's a reader. I did not know what this card did until I found it, so I don't blame anyone for reading cards. <clears throat> I think I actually want to sacrifice Kami because I want to play Solace Revival. Plus they're hitting us for like 10 million damage. Yeah, I actually want Elder Pine of Juku triggers, so... <clears throat> Begin infinite fogs. Sacrifice you, prevent all combat damage. No blocks. Okay, so... What do we do now? I kind of want to splice Death Denied on the Solace Revival, but let's just go Solace Revival on you. Get some lands. Perfect. Play the Kami. <clears throat> Get more lands. Or no lands, okay. Play Scoured Barons and pass turn. And no attacks. So next turn, we can sacrifice the Elder Pine to get back Kami. That should give us more time. And this is kind of why we're playing the Fogs, right? You want to hold down creature decks. That's gross. <laughs> sacrifice you, prevent all damage. No blocks. All right, deck, give me a Zoobs. Death denied. Okay, well, Ashnod's Altar lets us sacrifice this. To get back Kami, we can then play Kami, play a Swamp, go. And then we can Death Denied back Kami and Elder Pine. Yep, they're just doing that. Oh, I didn't even see all the cards they got off Winding Way. They literally hit four slivers. <laughs> okay. And they get a bunch of mana. I'm not even going to make them attack. Just save them the time. Spore Frog's pretty good. Let's go Forest, Spore Frog. I feel like they just scoop, right? <laughs> How do you beat this many fogs? But they haven't seen a win con yet, so. Yep, 
sacrifice spore frog. Let's do this one, two, three. <laughs> oh, buddy. I respect the opponent for playing this one out. Play Elder Pine. We win. Okay. So, sideboarding opponent is on spirit. We basically want all the fogs. We win the match. All right. All right. We're going to go first. Uh, yes. This hand's a keep. If we draw any land, Elder Pine of Jukai can draw us into everything. This is one Ashnod's altar away from just being super busted. And Evolving Wilds is definitely getting a blue. Sweet. Yeah, I think... So, from the opening hands I've seen, I'm feeling like we're not playing enough lands in the deck. Okay, Root Wall is a good card. So, definitely, we we might need to add lands. Land. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, at least we can chump with Zubera, and hopefully that can hit lands. Also, that takes their whole turn if they want to do that. Hmm, Swamp. Oh, is this a Tortured Existence build? No, we wouldn't play Sanitarium Skeleton in Tortured Existence. I don't know what this is. Land, yeah! Elder Pine, get in there, my guy. Go. F6, we're playing quick. Ooh, three colors. Okay. I will block the Root Walla because we just want to draw Ashnod's Altar at this point. And this forces them to use their mana as well. Ooh, okay. Swamp. Blossoming Sands. All right, let's go. Living Dream Zubera. Get some lands. Get no lands and bin two Ashnod's Altars. <laughs> what is this luck, man? Play Spore Frog. Play Blossoming Sands and go. I guess I attack. So again, I will block here. Just, we, we gotta hit Swamps or Ashnod's Altar or something. And it's just eating up their turns, which I like. And then we can, like, sacrifice the Elder Pine to get it back. Okay, and now we really need a Swamp. <laughs> no! <laughs> How are you playing Bajooka Bog in a three-color deck? Oh my god. <sighs> okay. I mean, they're playing Bajooka Bog. That is, that is a thing. It's hit for three. Man, we just got got so hard. Sure thing, boss. I cannot believe they bajuka bogged my Zuberas. Okay, this must be Tortured Existence. Why else would you run Spore Frog? This is going to be a long game. Okay, I feel pretty good now. Let's go Thief of Hope. Get some land. No land! What's a boo? Right, we need to shuffle. Play this Zubera. Hopefully hit something. <laughs> this is unreal how many times. Always yield. Okay, we got a swamp to start. Play that. Go. Weird. I, uh, for those watching, I'm a big advocate of Tortured Existence. I don't think this is anywhere near the correct build. Sanitarium Skeleton's just so much mana and, like, just doesn't seem great to me. This card's good. Spore Frog's amazing, but the rest are not the best. All right, there's no way. Oh, they could play, um, eh, we'll just block. They have another Bajooka Bog, sure. Okay, Spore Frog's good. Ooh, I like that. Okay, let's go Thief of Hope. Um, I'm not going to be playing any blue spells this turn, so Thief of Hope. Then we're going to Ethereal Haze plus Solace Revival. Save targets. Okay. Get the Swamp. Missing another Petal Main Baku, but that's okay. Swamp. Uh, I guess I might as well attack. And we're just like really draining down their life total. All right, let's do this. Um, kind of want to keep that alive, so let's just cast this in splice. Target that. Uh, white, black one. Get some lands, finally. Okay, now we're doing it. Go ahead. They're at 11. Like, this is a really fast kill. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, they need creatures so they can dredge. Okay, this makes sense. So they can brown scale, but they just don't... The biggest limiting factor of Tortured Existence decks is black mana. So going three colors is like a huge cost because, you know, they can only Tortured Existence two times per turn, right? That's not that great. And I would advocate for playing uh, dual lands as opposed to, like, fetch lands. Log War Marshal. Okay, so they're playing that build. 
which we will just mop the floor with. We don't have any graveyard hate, but we have a lot of enchantment removal, and that's pretty good. Okay, so they have Bajuka Bog in hand, that's good to know. So two Ashnod's altars are gone, and we've been through a lot of our deck, so hopefully we can find another. And get back brown scale. I can just F6. I don't think they're attacking or anything. There you go. That is what we call in the business an infinite kill. Let's go ahead and play Ashnod's Altar. Play the Zubera off of a Plains, because we don't really need white. And they're dead like real fast. Make a Plains. Doesn't matter. <laughs> We're missing a Petal Main Baku, but that's okay. And so. We can go Soulless Revival. Oh, no, no, we don't need that yet. We can sacrifice the Elder Pine. Get back the Zubera. Oh, we don't have blue mana. <laughs> That's right. Well, we could just get back the Elder Pine and recast it. Play the Elder Pine. One's down to seven. Seven is not zero. Yeah, I forgot about the blue mana situation. Uh, do I want to attack? Not really. I'll just pass. So they can Bajuka Bog down my Soulless Revival, but as soon as we hit a Petal Main Baku, we could just go off. Okay. So that happens. No longer worried about that. Opponent's at 9 life. That is uh, pretty low. And that is a brave attack. I'll take it. And they have Spore Frog of their own. But they're gonna like have to sacrifice that. Petal main Baku. Ooh, Rend Flesh. I do like a Rend Flesh. Let's get started with the Zubera. And also, I guess we only have one blue source in our whole deck, but... No, it's our last Petal main. <laughs> uh, you go on top and then the Thief. So, kind of want to wait until next turn and then double cast. So we can just go like Jungle Hollow and attack with Thief of Hopes. And the Elder Pine. Okay. I think I just try and go for the kill. We're going to sacrifice the Zubera. Another altar. Then we're going to sacrifice the Elder Pine. Get back the Zubera. We'll say yes. We can... The problem is we can't really draw any cards because we need the Baku. Maybe this deck needs some tutor effects because that would definitely get there. Um, yeah, I mean, we can like Rend Flesh something, but... Guess I just play a Spore Frog. Because anything I can do, I can do at instant speed. Yeah, I don't know. Only having one blue source is kind of rough when you're trying to combo off. Mm -hmm. So they have to do that for every single spell that we cast. They're getting Spore Frog. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, what do you got? Blastoderm. Ooh. And an Arrogant Worm. Alright, they're like kind of beat down Tortured Existence. I think this version of the deck is worse. Um, because you're like a slower beat down deck than most opponents. And then your controlling game is not so good. But you do still have basically infinite card advantage, right? You're looping Spore Frogs every turn. You can gain a bunch of life. So it is still powerful. And Spore Frog. So they can play Arrogant Worm at instant speed. Yep. What are they targeting? Getting back Brown Scale? Sure. Oh, they didn't even cast it? What? Hmm. Well, I feel like at this point we just rend flesh the Spore Frog. They go down to 9. We get in some combat damage and then we should maybe kill them off like Death Denied, sacking our dudes. And I mean, if we could ever draw a Petal Main Baku, that's just game. Yeah, let's rend flesh because I don't think I'm going to have any better targets. Soulless Revival. That seems good. So let's start there. Oh, wait, we can do a lot, actually. Let's move to combat first. Or, no, let's play the Zubera first. I think... I mean, they're not killing us anytime soon, and we could just wait for... I, mean, I think I swing out, right? We could just wait for them to... What am I even saying? Yeah, we can wait a turn so that we can Zubera twice in one turn. But we can't do it at instant speed, so... I think this just happens. And we can sacrifice this to draw a card. And we could just get that back off the Thief. Yep. So use the Thief's ability. Then we can go Death Denied, getting back two creatures. 
and then we can play Deep of Hope again. Okay, so Pedal Main Baku, more important for this deck than I originally thought. But the opponent's at three life. We have a full grip, and they have to use so much mana just to gain enough life to undo the Thief of Hopes. This is where, like, Crypt Rats would be pretty good for the opponent. Because they could uh, play it and activate it. I think I just F6. I don't really have any response. But if they kill everything, we can just go Hanakami, get back Death Denied, buy everything back, keep going. So I'm not really that worried. It's just a matter of how long until we find the stupid pedal main Baku so we can kill them. <laughs> the opponent's doing some stuff. So again, for those watching, Tortured Existence is a very challenging deck. The hardest thing to do is to like have a game plan and figure out a way to win the game. Like you have these so many different options of like loops that you can do, right? You can like loop Arrogant Worm, Spore Frog, you can like Keep recurring Golgari Brown Scale. You can get Grave Scrabblers into play. Uh, you can put Blastoderm into play. The real question that you have to keep asking yourself every turn is like, is what I'm doing going to win me the game? And in this case, the answer is no, because they're gaining life, but that's only a short-term advantage against an opponent who has two Thief of Hopes in play. I don't know if they have better options, but like, dredging frantically to f try and find a Crypt Rats might be your better, might be a good shot. Um, let's start with Elder Pine of Juku. Fall to nine, then we play Hanakami. Yeah, we should just be able to kill them. Okay, Evolving Wilds is what I was looking for, because now we can shuffle. Sacrifice this. <laughs> no lands left in our deck. We win, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, they just die to this, this, sacrifice. So, against Tortured Existence... What am I worried about? Uh, Guardian of the Guild Pack's actually pretty sick. I don't really need Fogs because they're playing Fogs, so we're definitely cutting the Spore Frogs. Um, I like Rending Vines, and Ribbons of the Raikai is also a good option, just to like fill our hand, because we don't really need that many Kamis. In fact, we could bring in Elder Pine or another Ethereal Haze. We could just go all the way to zero on all the fogs and just bring in four Zuberas. I don't, I don't hate that because that lets us double trigger this Zubera. Our deck's curve is way more top heavy, but we'll just play it slower. Let's try that. Oh, uh, this hand looks good. It's got a Petal Main Baku, enough mana, Elder Pine of Juku. We just gotta keep Petal Main Baku alive. And we're gonna wait to Evolving Wilds because if we had a green source, then I don't want to have to use this to find green. Um, I'd rather find her one island for the Floating Dream Zubera. What is going on? Natural discard? Uh-oh. All right, we won the match. What is going on? <laughs> How do we just... <laughs> okay, well, we'll keep going, I guess. If this keeps happening, then I can just keep recording more, I suppose. Oh, we're playing against tilt -a World again? Ooh. Can I just get matched up against non-tron people? This hand is a keep, though. It's pretty close to going off. Say hi to the opponent here. Ah, oh, fortunately they're doing a different deck. Perfect. Okay. Um, we're gonna lead on Blossoming Sands. So let's just choose what's up. Hopefully they're on like Elves or Stompy or something, and then all our fogs are actually good. Green black. Okay, let's go Petal Main Baku. <laughs> Oh, is this the mirror match? Did they just build our deck? I don't know. All right, this is gonna be spicy. I'm excited now. All right, Tilt the World, you're the main feature in this. <laughs> I have no idea what they're playing. Okay, that's a Zubera. Let's play Kami because I wanna get counters on Petal Main. So this is gonna be always yes, always yield. Play Evolving Wild so I can get blue and attack for one uh maybe that attack was bad because they could have like a pump spell blood throne vamp uh oh are they playing uh zubera storm as well uh i don't know i don't think i've seen this deck before but i'm starting to feel like my life total matters so we're gonna protect it let's go zubera hanakami Play a land, pass turn. Brindle shoat. 
I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I think I block here. Now they're like, do I want this to happen? And now I'm like, do I want this to happen? Because I could just try and go off. Let's sacrifice Kami. I kind of want more creatures in my graveyard anyway for death denied. Ooh, a second petal main block of this. Very nice. You like, just do that. Play a spore frog. And pass. And we can death deny at end of turn if we need to, but I don't even need to, right? We could just wait a turn. We win, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't see them coming back from that loop. Um, so they're a creature deck. And probably don't need double death denied. I can bring in Guardian of the Guild Pack because all of their deck is monocolored. Probably don't need the Ember Fist to Zubera. Um, Plague Rasalka, though, is actually pretty good against everything that I saw. Right? It kills all their sack outlets. Mm, maybe that's not enough. We just have so many fog effects, we don't care about the sack outlets. And with Double Guardian, we might also want a Ribbons instead of like a Rend Flesh. Just like killing their stuff doesn't matter if we're just fogging every turn. Yeah, I, I'm okay with that. They didn't really show much life gain, so the thief loop should get there. Let's see how this goes. I don't think I can mulligan this hand. It's got Thief of Hope, Zubera into Ashnod's Altar. That just seems pretty great. Yeah, double Zubera. We're going to fetch up an island here. We're missing fog colors, but Zubera should hopefully draw us into that. Ooh, Lone Dryad. Fetch island. There we go. There we go. Go ahead. Oh, Lone Dryad plus Nest Invader is kind of sweet. Because the Eldrazi does not have to tap, so you can actually tap the Eldrazi and then sacrifice it to get two mana. Or just a Young Wolf, also pretty nice. Let's play a second Zubera, I think. This really makes combat difficult because we could just block with two Zuberas and then draw four cards. So we're just going to take two. I don't really see the need to commit to anything. Because like, if we sacrifice both of these, then we get Bajuka Bog. That's pretty bad for us. Leave the Stampede. Okay, so they're probably not playing much removal. Carrion Feeder, Falconrath. Oh, Falconrath Noble is an issue. Okay. Come on, deck land. Hanakami. <laughs> not exactly what we wanted. Let's play Ashnod's Altar and pass. Hopefully they don't have a kill spell for it, but even if they do, we could draw lands. Um, I, if I had Petal Main Baku in play, I might just go for the kill, but I don't, so no real need. Falconrath Noble. All right, we're in for a treat. <laughs> Taking two, and then we get to untap. And once we untap, we should be able to just go off, hopefully. Or if we draw like a green source, we can Spore Frog. So they can do this for one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, or another. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I think the most they can do is ten. So it's kind of unreal. Um I think I might as well just sack them. Let's do it. God, these triggers are gonna get rough. <laughs> but with them being tapped out, I think this is our best shot. Uh always yield. So we draw two. What? <laughs> oh, that's bad. That's quite problematic, actually. Let's go ahead and play Thief of Hope. Uh, sacrifice Thief of Hope to get back. Promise Thief of Hope kind of needs to be in play. I think we have enough mana for this. Get back the Zubera. I'm just trying to get an untapped white or blue source here. Or white or green. Play the Zubera. Um, yeah, this is kind of an issue. I think I do need to try and go for an untapped white or green. Hmm. Did I do the math wrong? I don't think I did. God, this stack is something else. <laughs> oh, I see. They just want to get the wolves bigger. Unreal. Well, it looks like we're going to game three because I just didn't hit any untapped lands and I don't have any way to filter. Okay. That's game. All right, game three. Uh, Silent Chant Zubera. Now that I saw um, the flyer, I think Renflesh is kind of necessary. And this card, 
I think I just want one of it. It's like a fun... Actually, it's just kind of overkill. I feel like we just want fog and not that. So we could just bring in uh, another Elder Pine, maybe? That can make sure we never run out of lands. Okay. Let's go first. Okay, this hand's pretty good. It's got a lot of fog effects. Uh, Mithril Haze also stops them from doing any damage with the Blood Throne, the, the flyer that pings when something dies. I think. Unless it's life, loss of life. Yeah, actually, maybe that doesn't stop it. Alright, so let's start out with Blossoming Sands. Okay, definitely getting blue. Ribbons gives us a great way to rebuild. Island. And we're not going to play any of these yet. I want to get the Baku down. That way I can start getting mana. <laughs> oh, Blister Pod. The good old boy. Yeah, I think this deck needs more lands. This is just like too slow because our hand is full of stuff that doesn't do anything. I guess I have six. Yep, so this is loss of life. But they don't have a sack outlet. Land forest it is. Let's go ahead and play Kami. Always yes, always yield. Go ahead. And then uh, we can start like ethereal hazing on their turn. I didn't want to haze this turn because we're not going to take too much damage. But if they go like, oh, innocent blood. That's pretty good against us. Let's, we got to keep the Baku, so Kami's going down. Fortunately, we only take two. All right, deck, what do we need? I think we need a land. Oh, I see. Um, let's block here. Well, the problem is if we block there, then they can play another thing. I think I just take it. Either way, I'm going to take the damage. I don't want them to be able to loam dry it out at two drop, mostly. Land? Hanakami's pretty good. Let's go Hanakami. And then pass. We can Ethereal Haze to put this up to three. And then we can play Ribbons next turn. But Ribbons only draws three cards. That's pretty brutal. Uh, yep. Let's go ahead and Haze now. So they're Hellbent. And they can hit us for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 damage. Land? It's a tapped land. Well, we can play Kami of the False Hope. And then I can do this to add 4 blue. Yeah, we can play Ribbons to draw 3, but drawing 3 is not that much. <laughs> uh, we're kind of 1 Zubera away. No, we don't have any recursion, but we're maybe somewhat close. I don't know. But we'll make them attack this time. So we block here, and then we're just going to fog. And now we sacrifice Kami. Come on, deck. Give us the zoobs. The life gain is nice. Okay, what do we want? Elder Pine of Zhukai into Ethereal Haze seems like the best sequence. We can play a Jungle Hollow, and we're just kind of holding out for Hanakami on Ribbons next turn. A lot of damage. Fog. It is Swamp. Oh man, Rend Flesh would be so nice. So no damage. And we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's going to be close. Okay, that is pretty good, actually. Let's go Petal Main Baku. They're tapped out, right? Yeah, let's play a land. Oh, um, maybe we can find a tapped land. Let's go Petal Main Baku. Get a forest. Any order. And then play another one. And then we can Soulless Revival Kami of the False Hope. Okay, any order. I guess I'll, yeah, it doesn't matter. Always yes. Play Swamp. So let's add uh, two black or something. Right, so with two black, we can go Solus Revival into Kami. Okay. Get a bunch of key counters. And then next turn, we can draw a bunch of cards and we'll have a ton of mana. Unfortunate draws. Always yes. Uh, I could play the altar, but I don't really feel the need. Opponent's hellbent. 
grab the swamp. Uh, I don't really want to attack either, so we'll just pass. A second Falcon Wrath Noble would be gross. No, they actually did it? No. God, no. I think I'm dead. That was such a good top deck. We were going to kill them. We were going to sacrifice Hanakami, get back ribbons, and then draw four cards. Mm, maybe they don't see it, but the double Falcon Wrath Noble is kind of gross. They see it. All right, I'm just going to concede. Really unfortunate loss. Uh, let's see what we would have drawn. Three, four. So we would have shuffled off Evolving Wilds, but Thief of Hope would have brought back Hanakami and we could keep going. We would have won, almost for certain. <sighs> unfortunate, man. Good games, Tilt a Whirl. And yeah. All right, so that's going to do it for the deck. Um, unfortunately, we were doing the two player queues and like just a lot of people conceded before round two. Um, I think I'm going to, if you guys like the deck, we'll run a full league after I make like final changes. I didn't want to run a, like a full league and like have the deck be bad, but we won like almost every single game we played. And the only game we lost was due to like pretty bad luck and a spicy brew from the opponent. So this deck is way better than I thought it would be. And I think with some fine tuning, we can make it good. Like this card was basically never necessary. So I would probably cut that and... Yeah, I think I'm going to make another video with better mana and fix the main deck. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. Um, maybe put one of these in the main because it is a really good card draw engine and it gives Hanakani something to do. So we could do something like this that might actually be better. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, see you guys next time.